Today we are on the road in Clarence, and while we've been highlighting some of the fun things happening in this community, we would be remiss if we didn't pay close attention to one event that continues to bring people together for more somber reasons, the crash of Flight 3407. Well, nine years after the crash, this community continues to mourn and fight for flight safety. It's important for people to know the history of the crash and the impact it's had on this community, and that's why a civic memorial now stands at the Clarence Town Library. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Dranch shows us. It's not a simple story. Beyond the bookshelves and the collection of computers, nestled in a corner of the Clarence Public Library, sits a subtle memorial marking a major milestone that changed the community forever, the crash of Flight 3407. It's a story of loss for individual families. It's a story of you know tragedy for the community. I remember that night. Doug Kohler is the Erie County historian. People that you know were houses away remember hearing the snowplow like noise, the crash, and then the silence of the next day. The crash itself, 50 lives lost, countless others forever changed. The cleanup and the change makers are all part of this exhibit. It has the legacies you know of today that these families want to see change that make sure that families and communities don't have to go through what we did 10 years ago. Look beyond and there's a water feature for reflection, surrounded by the names of each victim engraved in pavers for posterity. Some people have moved on, new people have moved into town, but that this remains sort of, you know, a, a critical moment in our history and, and in our community and our lives. The placement of this interactive memorial is of no coincidence. It faces north toward Long Street, where Flight 3407 crashed into Karen and Doug Walensky's home. It's a very reflective, contemplative place, has a lot of significance, a lot of meaning built into the site. This was the way to maximize what we could put out to the public to use to memorialize the events. Maybe it's in a black and white ribbon of remembrance or a familiar face. But Ten years later, remember that that it still affects who we are and, and our interactions and, and people we see every day. With many stories to share, this is a somber spot to find solace and hope for the future. On the road in Clarence, Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.